Hey everybody, Duxon here, and we're going to be talking about uh, this uh, new parse here called Star Parse. Uh, why? Because it's definitely one uh, that I enjoy a lot. Most of the guilds are starting to switch from Parsec to Star Parse, and I, just, I will show you the reason why uh, that is happening. There's a lot of good features in Star Parse that aren't in Parsec, and and that's basically the bottom line as to why it, it is more popular. I, as a streamer, use, still use both. I enjoy Parsec because the numbers are really big. I can actually, uh, when I stream, it really is not making uh, anybody indifferent as to uh, what are the numbers. As far as Star Parse, it seems like I have to blow it up so big that it takes too much of my screen to make it look just as big as uh, Parsec. So I tend to have both on, but I stream with Parsec uh, and then I actually analyze my DPS with Star Parse. So here's Star Parse, and again, there's a lot of things that are very similar to Parsec, and I think that's also partly why Star Parse is such a, a good one, is because it's not that hard to adapt yourself from going to from one to the other. So we start with file. We have the open log, so it automatically will go to the default where where you are, you have uh, your uh, combat uh, log files. Again, you gotta make sure that you go into your uh, preferences under combat logging and enable your combat logging. If that is not enabled, you will not get anything going. Nothing will work as far as parse, parsing period. The only, yeah, that's it. So you gotta make sure you get those files. So, and then they're all usually in the docu in your uh, documents under uh, Star Wars The Old Republic combat logs, right beside where your screenshots are. And then you go, if, if let's say you just did something and you, you think it's too late, as long as you enable combat logging, you can go all the way on to the bottom. And then that's the latest file that you used. And then in this case, if I use that method, then it's going to load up whatever the last thing I did. And then it's going to give me the data. Again, there's all kind of, you can go to the overview, which is the one that I actually enjoy the most. It really, like right now, it doesn't show you much because it wasn't very long. But like if you if you do the test that most people do, which is the uh, million HP dummy, which I'll show you guys how to do in a uh, later uh, video. But anyways, here, like you just basically have an idea of what you're doing as far as that's, that's your uh, DPS curve and that is your ability damage curve. So, and I like that, that they're both separated, but at the same time going on the same uh, chart. So you actually can see uh, if your abilities uh, hit very well. You can also see if you, there's areas where your DPS is, is dipping, and if and if it is, then you can try to realize. Well, not realize, but try to see what you can do about uh, you know uh, making it better. Or you can embrace the fact that certain areas you won't be able to DPS as much. Therefore, you want to maximize in the areas where you can. You want to do even more damage than you uh, normally are which means you usually like try to use your cooldowns in the right spot so that you can use them uh, full like full capacity not like a good example would be like uh, uh, under lurker where you you pop all your cooldowns and then you just have to go behind a rock and wait for five seconds which you lose a ton of time uh, that, that is called uh, DPS time right so so try to use your cooldowns to your advantage not to your disadvantage right so that helps you analyze that a little bit or on top of other things, right? Uh, damage, again, I was I was wailing on the operation training dummy, and then it just gives me the stats, the stuff that I've done. Healing, I didn't do any healing. The damage taken, I didn't take damage because the dummy doesn't hit you back, thank God. Uh, and here is combat log, which is really nice because it shows you if you, uh, if you actually want to look into uh, deeper into things, you can actually see your actual rotation and then you can match it against somebody else's rotation and you can see where you're doing better or worse than others. Also, there's other websites like Torparse and Parsley, which will show you like the top dogs, like all the, the really high-end guilds all go there because they want to uh, compare themselves with other people. And then that, uh, not just from your guilds, right? From everybody. And then we could, like, if you go on there, there's a top parse for a million point dummy, which I will show you how to do the, the million point uh, test dummy later on. But like the, the, the top guy right now is 5.6 uh, K DPS, which is insane on, uh, 
Well, it's the equivalent to assault specialists for commandos, uh, obviously on a uh, uh, Merc. A Merc, I think it's called IO, whatever IO stands for. Uh, something ordnance, I think. Anyway, so you can actually completely see their entire rotation for the entire time that the dummy is up. And then after you can realize, okay, what do they do at the beginning of the fight? Uh, what do they do at the end of the fight if there's such thing like a, you know, like a, you know, a below 30% you hit harder or certain abilities are enabled, like a, like a guardian or a, a sentinel can, uh, can have, right? So all these things are mashed together and then they, you can actually see it all. And then that's why I, Star Parse, not just on its own, but with other uh, things like Parsley can really uh, increase your damage overall or your knowledge of your spec or uh, not your spec but your rotation and so on. Uh, so, and then Raid. Raid would be better obviously if there was other people with us, but in this case there wasn't, it was just me firing at it. But I could go back into Parses from yesterday and I'm pretty sure I would find this stuff when we were raiding and you would see a bunch of people there as well so again that's just we were just here opening log files right or you can open the recent ones that you've done and then you can also go in settings settings and the general tab here is just basically the path to go to uh, your combat logs if you want to move your combat logs somewhere else then make sure that you fix it because if not when you open log it's going to go to that default that you had set up and it's not going to be there right so make sure that if you change it you change it in here as well uh then after that raid groups raid groups is this is where you create raid groups very very simple uh so you basically put your your name whatever the name of the group you want to create balmora and that's a it's a k just to have something else in there and then I don't know cookies whatever you want to put in there for password and then if you're creating the thing because it's not already up there then put another password for admin and I put cookies again then I create the new group and then there we go it was successfully created it's here now everybody that all I need to tell people that want that, that I want in there is the obviously the name and password and when they what they have to do is come back to that same window raid groups under your settings and then type Balmora K and cookies in here and then join the group now once they've done that they haven't really joined the group yet so you have to go to rating and you have to make sure that the one that you made or the one that you just created, right, Balmora K, is selected. So you click on it and then you re-click on the rating menu just to make sure that there's a check mark beside it. So there's a check mark. I know I'm with in that instance or whatever that uh, raid group, whatever you want to call it, right? Now that's good. Uh, here, there's also a bunch of stuff that you can uh, use. I'm gonna, first I'm gonna go and press parse here it should go green and rating and they'll bo both be green then after that I come here I'm gonna put rate damage I'm gonna move it down here so you guys can see it so that's basically your rate damage window there, again there's just me in there because there's only one person in the group but if everybody else had star parse in your guild and they all uh, wanted to, you wanted to see their damage to see how they're doing. You can all, all you gotta do is download this thing, enable their combat logging again in the game uh, under preferences, combat logging. And then after that, once they've done that and they've joined your group, then as soon as they start DPSing and you're in the same instance, you're gonna see people, everybody else's damage as well. And the neat thing as well, like I said, you get the combat log, their combat log as well, so you can see where their areas of weaknesses are if you know the class if not then you can research it and help them out or whatever again it's a tool to a, a lot of people see parsers as uh, evil and i think it's just there to help out and if you don't want to help get help then obviously you don't care about anything really because if you cared about your raid team that's in there wiping over and over again because you have no damage example right then that wouldn't that would that wouldn't be an issue if you actually tried to fix it. But if you're not gonna try to fix it, I think I think it's it's a pretty telltale sign for people that are weak sauce and don't want to fix their stuff. This is a really easy tool to use, and it tells you a shit ton of things without having to to uh, 
per, per se be a pro. I don't call myself a pro at all. I don't even parse for 4K, which seems to be like the uh, easiest thing to do in my guild. But then again, as soon as we get into combat, like everybody else, uh, at least half of those people, if not more, that are 4K above on the dummy drops below me. So I'm not, I don't feel so bad, but again, it goes without saying that you do learn a lot from hitting a dummy. It allows you to uh, figure out what your optimal rotation is when you have all the time in the world and don't have to move. Now, but again, what we know once we have to move, that all hits. The hole goes out the window, so. For most people, I should say. Okay, so, again, Every, that, that's the read damage window. I'm gonna add uh, the uh, combat timer one, and there it is. So, and then we're gonna go to the next part, which is the timers. So, uh, timers, you just select settings, and then you can create any timers you want. Anything. It could be a timer boss related. Some of them are already in the game, which is really neat. Like, you can go and select a bunch of bosses. Let's say Nephra. Anyways, again, it's all the and then that that uh, I don't mine are not uh, sorry mine are not uh, boss related, but I know there are some already set up for bosses that you can pick up. I'm sure uh, uh, Bulo probably has one or Sword Squadron with the uh, shields and all that stuff. Like you can set up some some really good timers for yourself. Now let's say the one that I use it the most for is. For those uh, the, the dots right on, uh, on my spec so I, I use incendiary round and as soon as I use it I have a dot that, that is applied to the target for 18 seconds so what I do I create a, a timer I call it incendiary round right because that's what it's related to trigger what's triggering it is the ability activated right as soon as they activate incendiary round that that 18 seconds of uh, pain uh, <laughs> uh, dots appear and that's when i want my timer to start right now and then i gotta uh, the name of it doesn't mean it's the, the ability so you could actually call it whatever you want and then you know i don't know grandma's fart or whatever you want to call it and then ability incendiary round here has to be perfectly uh, typed. If you make a mistake, a typo, it's not gonna work, right? So if you do, if your timer doesn't seem to work, like it's not getting activated, then it probably is why. It's probably because you mistyped something here. Duration I put 17 seconds because I want like that one second buffer that gives me that time to okay I just heard it fuck I'm in mid cast I'm not gonna cancel my cast, but at least I know it's giving me a little bit of a buffer to make sure that I I clip them as good as possible. Uh, cancel uh, when combat's finished. So if let's say you you hit the target uh, with your incendiary round and it dies, and then there's still 10 seconds left before uh, the 18 seconds goes away. Well, if you got out of combat and killed it, it's not gonna say uh, what it, because it it basically makes a sound or it can make a sound. Let's go there. Display is just what it's gonna show uh, here. It's gonna show in red, so, uh, so you can change the color of whatever you want it to show into your timer, uh, uh, little chummy over here. Uh, sound, like I was saying, as so every time that you get through the 17 seconds uh, with the incendiary round, it's gonna make a sound, if you want it to. And then here are some of the sounds they give you. They're MP3s, and again, you can download a shit ton of them on the internet to tailor made to whatever you want them to be and what i like the most is that with parsec uh, it's not like that but with this one it is you can actually set the volume so they don't have to be super fucking loud and that was the problem with the parsec all of them were cranked to the fucking floor and i don't want to play with my sound as uh, i'm streaming things i want the things to stay the same but i don't want my ears to bleed because i'm putting a a sound file that's uh, that's too loud and again all of them sounded too loud except Utini was the only one that I thought was decent on Parsec but here like I said you can tone them down a bit so they don't fucking break your ears Still, so they still warn you they still do their job uh, and then once you're all done with setting everything you can save it boom saved right so that's that is as simple as that Pretty easy, eh? 
So we've done that. Overlays. If you want to change the color, if you want to change the uh, opacity, like if you want it to be transparent, like uh, this one here, the top one is not. This one is a little bit, the timer is one. So depending on what I, like I can show you here, I can, actually I have to, it wasn't showing up for whatever reason. Oh, it's that one, sorry. So now you can see down here, timer is uh, behind it, that's a little light gray, which is my, uh, that's my, uh, background here it's completely black so depending on what you want right you can select they have defaulted it as at 60 so it's not completely black you can see through a little bit but again it's all depending on what you like so that's all that is here is just uh, customization of your overlays so that's basically it for that part really so Again, what you got to do before you start this whole thing, make sure that, again, combat logging is enabled in, into your game. Check whatever group that you want to be part of. And then green light, green light with parsing and rating. And then once that's done, then we're going to go and move over to the game itself. Doo -doo -doo. And I'm going to move this here so that you guys can see it. Oops. There you go. And I'm going to bring my game back up. There you go. I could also put, I had more initially, that's why that, that uh, rectangle is humongous right now. But uh, yeah, that, I would have made it smaller. So I, I'm going to start right off the bat and I'm going to use it in Cindy round and you're going to see, just look for the timers, you'll see it'll, it should kick in, I haven't seen it yet, there you go. But you can see though that it didn't like show up right away, like at 18 seconds. So now see I'm, I just reapplied mine. It's a trap! Somehow though the timer doesn't seem right. We'll see in a second. Yeah, it was it's a, a bit trap. Bad. Somehow. But anyways, you get the gist of it. It gives you a timer here that I kind of like now. I don't know. I might I might use it a little bit more than I used to. It's a trap. And then you have your damage at the top. And it's that simple, guys. And again, if there was other people in that raid group DPSing, that would get, all get populated, give you a, a list from top to bottom, best DPS to uh, worst. And yeah. It's a trap! So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.